there everybody welcome back to my channel the star lewis author page today i want to get into talking about my book claude frollo and the top three characters now some of you want to know more about the claude frollo character and ethelina and Gatan. i think that those are the top three main important characters so i'm going to get into those three today with you so uh before we get started I would like to tell you to please comment down below and like and share any questions or anything you guys may have and be sure to tap that subscribe button. Thanks a lot. So now guys I want to talk to you about again the three characters. We'll start off with Ethelinda. So Ethelinda was a gypsy. She was raised with her gypsy family and she spoke the Romanian language and she also spoke French. But since growing up in France, she has to speak the French language, but also growing up with her gypsy crowd, she also spoke Romanian, but it helped her to swindle her way to stealing from people, from robbing from other people, and just pretty much getting away with a lot of crime and pretty much she was crooked and she thought that that was her way to be in life she was also a very beautiful seductive woman and she also used that to her advantage and also to get power over other people and to take advantage so I think her character was pretty cool how she swindled her way into Gatan's family, which I'm going to get into a little bit later. But um, again, Ethelinda is full-on Romanian, but she's also French as well. So I think that she played a, an important part in Claude Frollo. She wasn't a mother figure for Frollo either, which I think that's why he, he became so corrupt and bitter as well. But um, Ethelina knew that she wasn't any kind of mother figure. She just got caught up in falling deeply in love with Gatan, who I'm going to talk about next. But I think she was quite a character. <laughs> um, I will say that I do like her because she, she one, didn't portray as somebody else, nobody righteous. But she did, however, respect respect the fact that Gatan and his family was, but his mother knew that she wasn't. So that's what I think about Ethelinda. She was very heartbroken um, when that when Gatan did die, and she was broken up inside. So I really think that. Um, Ethelina does play an important part in uh, Frollo's life. Him seeing her grow up and everything. So, yeah, that's what, seriously, I, I think. Now we're going to talk about Gatan. So Gatan grew up in a righteous family. He was very righteous, very, he was very inspiring. And all he did was just look to the future and wanted someone to love and he was captured by Ethelina's beauty but as he, he he wanted to give her a benefit of a doubt I think and he fell for her so that's that's pretty much it about his character he was very young-minded and he always sought for good things in life. He always wanted the best. He was pretty much, yeah, he was he was the, the yes man, the best man, the righteous man. I'm gonna do things right for my family and for myself. So he didn't mean any harm towards his mother, but what can you say? Love is love. So I think also the time he, he did his best, even though he didn't see 
Frollo grow up and he didn't quite actually raise him, but he did speak life into him as a baby. And I wish that that was something that Frollo could have known from the time. So maybe he, he did, but still it didn't really put anything inside of him because he still ended up evil. But I think um, Gatan would have thought before he died that Frollo was going to do big things. So I think that was a part of Gatan's character. He was always hopeful, very righteous, very just getting to just pretty much reaching out and look, looking forward. That's what I think. Also, now we're going to get into the top character, Claude Frollo. So many people have different perspectives on Frollo, which is great, and so do I. That's why I, I wrote the book. But some people believe that Frollo was, oh, he was he was a, a demon character. He was awful. Oh, he was so bad. Oh, he, he, he just has nothing. But, you know, for me, though, I like giving people a benefit of a doubt. I'm, I'm just speaking about me, though, me personally. And nobody knows somebody's story until you actually get to know it. And I thought, why not give Frollo a chance? So I think that Frollo would have had a better opportunity to overcome that, that deep anger that happened that he saw his mother do to him and how she hurt him in, inside and the things that he has experienced over his life, which made him very angry, which made him very hard and bitter. But being how he was somebody's baby once, and maybe perhaps he tried to do what his father wanted him to do, which was to be righteous. And that's what I think by giving Frollo a benefit of a doubt which is probably why he became Judge Claude Frollo. I'm a righteous man. But however, he still had a downfall. He still had a struggle that he was struggling with. That hit that lust, just being a regular man, but he had to carry himself in the righteous way. But still, which led to his downfall. And that's why I think that in the end he he didn't he didn't make it. But still, I think Frollo is a really good character, and um, I think it it teaches a lesson for us to not be bitter from the things that we go through in, in life because it can lead to morally our downfall. So that's what I think about with Frollo. He's he's a uh, a bit of a, a bit of a character. I like him. I like all my characters that I wrote in the book, and I hope you guys are enjoying it. Just let me know what you guys think. But yes, that's what I think about all my characters. So again, guys, thank you for tuning in, and I will see you guys in the next week's video. Please be sure to, again, comment below and hit that like button and be sure to subscribe so you guys won't miss any other videos. All right. Thank you so much. Bye. Watch.